good afternoon dear students in the previous lecture we have discussed methods of measurement types of measurement and different types of measuring instrument now every measuring instrument is having different functional element for example in thermometer there is a bulb and bulb is the first part that will came into the contact of the quantity being measured for example if you want to measure the temperature then you have to put that bulb to the attached to the bo uh, that uh, body whose temperature is to be measured and then that bulb sends the temperature of the body and then the displacement of the mercury which is filled inside the capillary tube takes place and in this way we came to know the temperature of any object so there are many functional element of measuring instrument first functional element is primary sensing element second is primary conversion element third is primary manipulation element fourth is data transmission mm -hmm. element and the fifth is data presentation element so let us start first one that is the primary sensing element in the primary sensing element primary sensing element will act as our sense organ works we have five sense organs ear nose so what is the what are the work of these sense organ these sense organ is used to sense something for example our nose is uh, sense smell tongue or taste so in this way sensing element is there in the measuring system the primary sensing element is a element that receives the physical quantity which is to be measured as input so primary sensing element is what primary sensing element is the first element which came into contact of the object of which the measurement has to be done if uh, suppose temperature is to be measured then this is that is the sensing primary sensing element is the bulb of thermometer if you want to measure the weight of the weight with the help of weight machine then the platform of the weight machine is your sensing element primary sensing element next one is primary conversion element so what is primary conversion element in the primary conversion element what is the work of primary conversion element primary conversion element is to convert the primary signal primary signal that is we receive from the primary sensing element to the suitable form to the suitable form for example if you want to measure force so you cannot directly measure force you have to convert force into displacement and in terms of displacement we show it on the scale and pointer and that scale is calibrated in terms of force and we can came to know the amount of force so this is like conversion from force to displacement so it is used only if necessary if there is no uh, requirement of primary conversion element we don't include that in the measuring system and it has, should have the property that it should maintain the original nature of the signal it means if you are measuring the force by any instrument then at the last it will show you the force not any other quantity like force is converted into mm or centimeter so you, force is always a force whether it is in the term of displacement like for example in the spring balance in the spring balance what we do we measure the weight but due to the displacement of the spring we came to know the value of weight so in this way primary measure conversion element works so next is primary manipulation element so the third element is the functional element of measuring system that is primary manipulation element the work of primary manipulation element is to amplify or modify or manipulate the signal that is coming from the variable conversion element or from the variable primary sensing element for example if the quantity that is to be read by the instrument is very very small so what primary manipulation element do primary manipulation element will modify that value and amplify that value 
and it will show on the larger scale the in the primary manipulation element there should be no change in the nature of signal if you want to measure the force then it will remain force throughout the system for example if you are going to measure the angle then the final result you will get is a angle if you want to measure some displacement then the displacement will remain displacement it cannot be happen that displacement become force or force become displacement so primary manipulation element only modify the value and amplify the value if uh, there is a uh, uh, re angle which is to be measured that is 0.005 degree so it is very small quantity so what primary manipulation element does it will modify the value to a larger value and on the scale you will get the value 0.005 degree so it will only amplify the value okay next is data transmission element data transmission element as a name indicate transmission it is used to transmit the data from one element to the other element for example nature cables cables radio signals wireless antenna so it does not change the nature of signal this is also the property of data transmission element that it will not change the primary signal that is the original signal the input that is given to the instrument is not changed if you are giving force then you will get force finally as a result and the last is data presentation element as the name indicate presentation it means the final after the final calculation like from the primary sensing element prime or variable conversion even variable or primary manipulation element variable manipulation element what does happen when all the data get calculated then it should be presented to the observer eye in the form of readable so it is a device that is used to present the measured physical quantity in a human readable form to the observer for example uh, there is a mark on scale so mark on scale is easily readable to you so you can get the value from that scale and pointer led display for example in hospitals on ventilator there is a machine which is having the led display and heart beat human being blood pressure is showing on you to the led display so this is the line diagram of functional element of measuring system so first box shows you that this is your physical quantity which is to be measured this is the input signal first of all it goes to the primary element signal then it goes to the variable conversion element then from the variable conversion element you will get converted signal and then it go to the variable manipulation element from variable manipulation element you will get the amplified signal and it will go to the data transmission element and then it go to the data processing element where it get stored and then the processed signal is go to the data presentation element from which it is readable to the observer i so this is the flow diagram of any generalized measuring system or the functional element of the measuring system this is one of the example of generalized measuring system this is the example of pressure type thermometer uh, there is a fluid and this is a bulb and this is a boden gauge and this boden gauge is having the link and this is the sector gear and this is the pinion and this is the pointer and this is the scale and if you want to measure the temperature of this fluid what will happen now this is the bulb this is the sensing element because temperature of the fluid is sensed by this so measuring measured medium this is the measured medium and the temperature which is to be measured uh, sorry the quantity which is to be measured is temperature so first of all it is came into the touch of bulb that is primary sensing element bulb is also act as variable conversion element because there is the mercury which get expand due to the increase in temperature so this is the expansion is it means temperature from temperature to displacement so it is also a variable conversion element then due to the rise of pressure uh, due to the rise of 
mercury volume pressure is increased in bowden tube so pressure is increased next this pressure goes to the bowden tube so this is the data transmission element bowden tube will act as a data transmission hmm. element now this pressure from the data transmission element that is the bowden tube pressure goes through the variable conversion element variable conversion element bowden tube is also a uh, variable conversion element because due to the pressure this bowden tube get expand and there is some displacement in it so that's why it is variable conversion element then the displacement of the bowden tube that is the motion goes to the link goes to the link and sector gear and this link and sector gear will act as a variable manipulation element variable manipulation element so this small displacement of bowden tube is changed into the large displacement with the help of variable manipulation element then this motion goes to the data presentation element data presentation element is what pointer and scale and from this pointer and scale an observer can see the value of the temperature of this fluid so in this way we can draw generalized measuring system for any measuring device only we have to know that what is the function of primary element what is the function of variable conversion element what is the function of data transmission element and what is the function of data presentation element in this way we can also draw generalized measuring system for various instrument okay i think this is clear to you so this lecture is over in the next lecture we will discuss metrology and types of metrology elements of metrology and need of inspection and these are the topic which we will cover in next lecture thank you so much